There you go. Here we go. Let's do it. Green flag in the air. We are underway for the Akana Bomber event is in the books. Now it's time to see what the Super Bombers can do. Cochran leads them in the corner. Larry calls for the caution flag. I don't think he liked the official start. Yeah, that's never a good sign right there. Warning. They don't give no warning here at Dixie. You jump. <laughs> You're penalized. You ought to know better. Here we go. Let's try it again. Take two. Green flag underway. Here we go. And look at Petey. He jumped right back up in there. And, and caution, got a caution. Come out. Trouble on the front straightaway. Car number 51. Kevin Fisher going around. He's got a fire under the front end of that car, but that's just a header fire. Man, I'm telling you what. So great to see Scotty Pritchett. Back behind the wheel tonight here at Dixie Speedway. Been a tough year for him, but let me tell you what, as Jimmy Mostella always said, racing was the best medicine you could ever take. So here we go to green. Three wide, they stack them up like hot cakes from the IHOP. Down the back side, they go into turn three and four. Petey Cochran. Oh, trouble! Ronnie Fawcett. Goes into the spin cycle over there in turn number four. There you go, Petey Cochran jumping up into the number two spot behind Scotty Pritchett. Travis Price, here comes Alan Brewer, Randall Powell, as they come off turn number four and down the front straightaway. Car number 72 going to town here on the front straightaway. Troy Whitlow in the 22 car. Now Brewer moves up into the number four position and now working on Travis Price down in turn number four, down the front chute they come. They go toe to toe across the stripe. Alan Brewer and Randall Powell. Three wide almost for that third spot. Price leads that mil battle down the back straightaway. The middle car there into turn number three. While that goes on, the leader exits off the corner. Scotty Pritchett still out in front. Battle heated up for fourth and company. Back to turn one. It's about to go three wide again in the corner. <laughs> What'd you say? They were stacking them up three deep like IHOP. Uh, yeah, but hey, guess what? Hot cakes and IHOP. I love that. Because I said hot dog between the bun. Let me tell you something. Yeah. And I got to carry you to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> Been in Rome. I'll be I there know, in September. I don't know if I can stand it or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Scotty Pritchett, the man with a plan. Here come Petey. Randall Powell, Travis Price, and Alan Brewer. That's your top five as they cross the start finish line. John Sexton. Troy Whitlow, Luke Pilsen in the zero car, and looks like Ronnie Fawcett got a call tonight here tonight at Dixie Speedway. Yeah, Fawcett going behind the wall. Pritchett still out in front. He has opened up a big margin over second and third as the third place car gets slipped a little bit there exiting off the corner. Car number 82 of Randall Powell. Everybody all single file. Up 15 up the wall there off of turn two a moment ago. Looks like he's trying to drive the Napa colors. And I'll tell you, Scotty Pritchett looking real good. I can imagine Cass Fowler and Jerry Fowler, they're probably atop those big pine trees over there in the pit area for Scotty Pritchett here tonight at Dixie Speedway. But Scotty padding onto that lead, just about a complete. Whoa, trouble. Turn four. That's the 15 that's looped around Johnny Clark. Header fire on the 15th. So back to green we go and Scotty Pritchett going to town, but look at here. Randall Powell and Petey Cochran battling out toe-to-toe -to -toe down in turn number three and number four. 72 car off the pace in turn number three. That's Chase Chris Ledbetter. And Ledbetter's we, car. We stalling. One. 
Stalling, Ledbetter, he'll keep the momentum. The flagman, Jason Green, urges him to go behind the wall. He does not! He misses the entrance! And we might see a caution flag, maybe! Right in front of your lead cars, the field roars by him! Will he make it to pit road? That's the question! Well, I got my fingers crossed. And I think he's gonna do it. Is Alan Brewer and Petey Cochran trading a little bit of paint down there in turn number four as they come across the start finish line? The number nine. Out in front out of Walsika. Is it Walsika? Walska? Waleska, Georgia. Out of Waleska, Georgia, Scotty Pritchett. Waleska, Georgia, Scotty Pritchett out in front. Laps are winding down. They're working lap number 12. Of 15, three remaining. Now make it two to go. Waleska, Georgia's Pritchett. You talked about the story that Brad Luck he's had. Now he's about to get a big win. White flag about to go in the air. Bring him home, Johnny Clark out of turn oh, four. Oh, Scotty Pritchett looking. Going to keep it clean and green here tonight here at Dixie Speedway. The white flag coming down. Randall Powell, Pete, uh, Petey Cochran. Alan Brewer and Travis Price. That'll be your top five on our Coca-Cola position board over in turn number three. And Scotty Pritchett taking the checkers here tonight at Dixie Speedway, followed by Randall Price, or Randall Powell, Petey Cochran, Alan Brewer, and Travis Price. Yeah, buddy. How about you, Dixie Speedway? Let's give him a big old round of applause. Scotty Pritchett out of Waleska, Georgia, taking the checkers here tonight at the home of the champions here at Dixie Speedway. Do it up. Do it up. You got one? All right, here we go. Ticket stub number 3144304. 3144304. Those are, if that's your ticket, bring it up top side. You got a brand new color television set you're gonna carry home with you. Once again, 3144304. If you if that is your ticket stub number, bring it top side to the deck area where Jeff is, and uh, he'll be more than happy to uh, uh, take care of you, make sure you get all the good stuff. Buddy, thank you for coming out and being here with us. Hey, thank you up to Scotty Pritchett at nine. <laughs> Scotty, congratulations, man. 48th winner of the Race of Champions at Dixie Speedway night. How cool is that? That's very cool. I'd like to thank everybody that helps me. Jerry Fowler for letting me drive his car. I mean, he just said, you know, if you want to drive, drive. Have fun. Great car. I mean... It's really fast. I mean, I guess it shows. So, and uh, everybody that helps Jerry hunt engines, Grand Sam Pizza, you know, everybody that you know works hard on the cars and helps us get here. So, you know, Johnny Clark Joey was Webb. and Joey Webb, the crew chief. There's our crew chief right there. <laughs> you know, Johnny Clark was telling me a little bit about some of the story of the trials and tribulations that you've gone through and some of the heartache. This has got to be some awesome medicine to put this car in victory lane and park it. Yeah, it means a lot. It's been a tough year for sure. So, yeah, it does. So, Talk about just uh, the race itself. I mean, you had a really strong car. Nobody could really catch you. Yeah, the car was excellent. It spins just a little bit off too, but I just slowed down. Usually when you get out front like that, the air helps a lot on these cars. So uh, I just uh, got out front and tried to drive the best race I could. I was a little rusty. I hadn't drove in a while. So, uh, But, yeah, it turned out well. I'm here, so that's great. Congrats, buddy. And thanks, everybody, for coming out. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, out of Waleska, Georgia. Waleska, Georgia, Scotty Pritchett taking this emotional win here in the Super Bombers.